Oh, live now to our newsroom. Jessica Gway is following all of these developments for us. Jess. Yeah, that's right. President Joe Biden made uh, it official in a video release. As you mentioned, he is running for president again, exactly four years after the, he announced his last presidential bid for the 2020 race. Take a listen to what he had to say. When I ran for president four years ago, I said we're in a battle for the soul of America, and we still are. The question we're facing is whether in the years ahead we have more freedom or less freedom, more rights or fewer. I know what I want the answer to be, and I think you do too. This is not a time to be complacent. That's why I'm running for re-election. In the three-minute video, President Biden repeated some familiar themes. The video includes images of the January 6th deadly insurrection at the Capitol and Republicans, including former President Donald Trump, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, and Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene. But you know, around the country, MAGA extremists are lining up to take on those bedrock freedoms, cutting Social Security that you paid for your entire life while cutting taxes for the very wealthy, dictating what health care decisions women can make, banning books and telling people who they can love, all while making it more difficult for you to be able to vote. Later today, the president will be addressing a meeting of labor union leaders in Washington, another move similar to his 2019 launch. In the early days of his 2020 campaign, Biden traveled to Pittsburgh to address a supportive crowd filled with labor union members. The president's campaign is expected to host major campaign donors in Washington this week, and the White House Correspondents' Dinner is Saturday. Former President Donald Trump currently tops multiple polls for the 2024 GOP nomination after announcing his own re-election bid late last year. Should President Biden, who is now 80, win the presidency, President Biden would be 82 years old at the beginning of his second term and 86 by the end of it. He is already the oldest person ever to win the presidency. We'll make sure to keep you updated as this story develops. Live in the newsroom, Jessica Gway, KDK TV News.